The men and women of the U.S. Government Printing Office have been keeping America informed on the documents of our democracy since 1861. GPO works around the clock to meet the printing and digital needs for the three branches of the federal government. Here in the agency's bindery section, employees are specialized in producing handcrafted, one-of-a-kind materials. The work that we're seeing coming out of our bindery steeps back in our tradition of nearly 150 years of providing some of the best quality work available in the world. One job the bindery produces for the U.S. House of Representatives is Jefferson's Manual. This manual dates back to the 19th century when Thomas Jefferson composed a manuscript on parliamentary procedures for the Senate while he served as Vice President of the United States. The House of Representatives incorporated Jefferson's Manual to its existing rules in 1837. GPO's employees print and bind Jefferson's Manual every two years for the House. These bindery employees utilize their hand craftsmanship skills to produce 1,200 copies for the 111th Congress. Oh, it's a privilege, privilege to work with the Jefferson Manual because we get to learn a lot about how it's put together and then it makes you really appreciate a book. Jefferson's Manual goes through approximately 20 different steps from start to finish at GPO. Once printed, all the copies arrive here in the bindery where the manuals are produced through several stages, some of which include inserting blue sheets to mark each section, marbling the manual's edges, assembling the leather cases, creating round corners, adding thumb tabs, and finally gold stamping. Marbling, for example, is one of the more fascinating art forms. GPO is one of the only places in the United States that still edge marbles books. Head forwarder Peter James leads the effort in marbling each one of the 1,200 manuals by hand. Marbling is a delicate process where acrylic paints are mixed with water, ox bile, and yes, fish glue. Then the paints are spread out on a solution made of water in a type of algae called carrageenan moss. Then the books, which are already clamped, are placed upon the surface, they're just touched, and we let capillary attraction move the colors along the surface, and then each book is marbled one edge at a time. As the manuals are marbled, an assembly line of book binders are busy making the leather cases by hand. I have a piece of leather, the same size I cut for the, board, the books, and I glue it, and then I put the board on it, and the spine piece, center piece, and then I have to fold it, and so make the round corners. Once the cases are complete, the marbled manuals are glued into those cases. Thumbers are then cut out at each blue sheet to indicate the section of the manual. The final step before delivery is gold stamping. This is where each house member's name is individually stamped on the cover. It's a, it's a very meticulous, uh, requires patience um, and a meticulous job. You have to focus, be very careful what you're doing. Um, and uh, once, like I said, there's, there's one chance. Once you hit the cover, it's done. Once that happens, proud GPO employees are ready to deliver Jefferson's Manual to Congress, knowing part of their unique hand craftsmanship will forever be part of our nation's history. It really makes me feel good to know that, that I put my all in all in it to really make it look good. And the men and women of GPO's bindery are ready to put their unique skills to work on another important job for our government.